Erika Ruiz, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing with you the process to create this layout using the Say She's Classic Mouse Collection by Simple Stories. This collection is beautiful. The designs, the colors, the embellishment, I love everything about it. And if you know me, I'm a Disney fan. So this collection is perfect to document those memories. For my layout, I'm using two photos of us in the Disney World Park and I'm matting them in pattern papers from the 6x8 paper pack. I cut the papers a little bit um, taller than the photo because I want them to look like a Polaroid photo and I'm using other pieces of paper to add more color behind them and just to have more designs and pattern paper there because I love having pattern paper. And this red, red piece, sorry, I'm not sure about how I'm going to use it, but I want to incorporate it there because I have a strip of red paper printed on the left side of the photo, so I want to balance the layout with something red in there. For the subtitle, I'm using one of the big die cut pieces. This is one of their newest products in the collection. They are amazing because they are very big and cute and you can use them in layout albums, cards, everywhere. Now I cut the red piece of paper in two so I can add a piece on the upper right side and another piece on the lower left side of the photo. I'm going to remove the barcode to work with the layout so I don't get distracted by the color on the top. And what I love about this base paper is the cluster it already has in the lower corner. So this is like something that helped me create my design with less effort because it is already there, but I will not leave it just as it is, so I want to add something there. I use my precision knife to open this area around the printed cluster so I can fit another things there and give them more some dimension and texture in this area. Previously, I chose some elements from the embellishment that I was sure I want to use, like the mouses and the rosettes. The rosettes, I'm using them because they are cute, are cute, but also because I want to cover some people in the photos that are not part of my family. So I'm covering them with the rosettes. And I'm adding a few pieces here and there, just testing if it looks nice, but I will be incorporating another things there. Now I'm working with the printed cluster. Behind it, I'm adding a tag from the 6x8 paper pad in black to continue with the colors theme there. And I'm also adding a piece of the flat paper because you have all the colors that are in the center of the layout. And also because I have another piece of that flat paper behind the right side photo. So I'm balancing the page by repeating the pattern papers and the colors in there. And balancing by using the same colors. You can see the polka dot paper on the left of the page, but also behind one of the photos. So I repeat the elements here and there to balance the page, to give it some continuity. Now after I added the pieces in the center, because I'm sure that I want there, I'm adding them with foam tape foam, either with liquid or with tape glue. And now I'm adding spray stickers on top of the photos to embellish those Polaroid frames. The red one says smile bit and the yellow one is happy together. They are from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I'm using foam for dimension. And I added the mouth on the left, also with foam. And now I covered the people in the left photo with the red rosette, but the gray one, I'm not sure, so I'm not gluing it. You can see that I'm using foam tape behind the corners in those papers, the red and the fat, just in the corners to give them dimension without making the layout bulk. And I'm securing those pieces before adding the embellishment. Here I'm covering the other people with the rosette and now I'm going to add the mouse in the other corner and the other rosette. 
I have tickets behind the Minnie Mouse, but I changed them with the label. I cut the label in half just to save the other piece for another project because the labels always are a great anchoring point and great to create clusters in titles and that. I removed the gray rosette and now I added a black one. It's like an off-white and black piece. For the title, I used a die cut from the page pieces. It is a big title with the fun word. And I love how it looks with everything that I have in the center. So I use that title instead of the foam stickers that I usually use for my title. And I'm adding a stars clusters. They are are pre-made clusters made of die cuts and I'm adding them with foam tape and I'm adding hard foam stickers around the layout and the number 28 that I add on top of the flat paper is a sticker. I add this piece just to, to help with the cluster to cluster something else on top of it and look like a notebook or something. And to embellish the tags, I'm creating a bow using crochet thread. I usually add them with liquid glue just to fix them to the page so the tails are not loose in there. And now I'm going to embellish the rosette by using decorative brads from the collection. They are flats and comes with a little bit of foam tape, so no stress on making holes or anything like that. This is the perfect product, I love it. And I embellish the rosettes that are in the photo area and in the lower cluster. Now I'm using the enamel dot to embellish the rosettes that are part of the title, part of the die cut. By doing this, I give them this project texture and the dimension because they are, it is a big die cut and by adding enamel dots, I'm adding other type of products, materials, so I get the texture and also dimension because the enamel dots are a little puffy, so I'm changing this one. I have a black one, so I change it for the red one, and I'm removing the white one and changing it for the black. I found two tickets basically the same size as the one in the paper. I found them in the sticker book, so I'm using foam tape to add those stickers on top of the page just to give the area dimension and they don't be flat in there. Now they are cuter. And this is how I finished this layout. I love how it turned out. I love how it looks and how it makes our photos look fun and happy as we are in the park. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more inspiration. If you want to follow me, all the links to my social media are in the description box. Thank you so much for staying with me and have a wonderful day. Bye!